from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. It's now my pleasure to introduce Theodore Taylor III, a Washington, D.C.-based artist, designer, and photographer. He studied communication arts at Virginia Commonwealth University and is the illustrator of the book, When the Beat Was Born, DJ Cool Herc, and the Creation of Hip Hop. It focuses on the life of DJ Cool Herc, the birth of hip hop, a new type of music that with its positive social force would come to define a culture and transform the world. For his first illustrated children's book, Taylor was awarded the Coretta Scott Keene Award and the John Steptoe New Talent Award by the American Library Association. Now, without further ado, let me introduce Theodore Taylor III. Thank you. Hello? No, no, no. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. How is everybody? Uh, my name is Theodore Taylor. Um, I'm the illustrator for <laughs> illustrator for When the Beat Was Born. Uh, this is my first book. Um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, this is my first presentation, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> uh, this is the first book I've done. Um, it's called When the Beat Was Born, DJ Cool Herc and the Creation of Hip Hop. Uh, it's about DJ Cool Herc, who was a DJ in the 1970s uh, and the early 80s. Um, and he, uh, sorry, he DJed for a party, um, which ultimately led to the creation of hip hop culture. Um, so, this is my first book, and I'm working on a few other ones currently. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk about my background and how I became an illustrator. Uh, I grew up in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, I was raised by my father, who was a jazz musician, and my mother, who was a writer and editor at the Roanoke Times. Um, uh, so, so uh, in my early life, I grew up around a lot of art and music, um, and that's influenced my work a lot. Uh, so, um, but I've been trying to live up to, uh, my father passed away when I was in high school, um, so I've been trying to live up to him through my artwork, um, and uh, I'm sorry. Um, 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 anyway, when I, uh, I'm sorry, yes? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, when I was growing up, I actually was very into cartoons, comic books, video games. Um, and I think that's where I was already interested in um, uh, music and writing. But... Uh, I think 
my interest in illustration came from my interest in you know cartoons, animation, things like that. Um, so when I got older, I wanted to combine those things. Um, so after I graduated from college or art school, I uh, I wanted to try and combine my interest in music and art. Um, and it, I ended up doing a lot of album covers um, for a few people. And I also, in college, had an internship doing um, uh, posters for a children's theater in Richmond, Virginia. And I think the combination of those two things um, is what led to uh, my art director and editor uh, to finding um, my work and knowing that I was a good fit to illustrate this book. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk about my, I'm actually writing my own book now, and I kind of wanted to talk about um, how that relates to hip hop and where I'm going to go now. Um, so basically, I was going to draw some pictures for you guys. Uh, let's see. Does anyone know the four? Well, first of all, did anybody? How, how many people have read my book? Does anyone know the four main elements of hip hop? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, the first one is rapping. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> can you guys, I don't know if you can see. Can anybody guess the second element? <laughs> it's related to the book, actually. Uh, it's actually DJing. Does everybody know what a turntable is? Line up. <laughs> actually, DJs use two turntables which is how DJ Cool Herc created hip hop by, um, by playing two records back to back and continuing the beat so people could dance to it. Okay. So, the third is break dancing. Let's see, I'm trying to think of what break dancing to draw. <laughs> this is a very rushed drawing of a break dancer. Oops. So the fourth element is actually graffiti. Um, and this leads into the book I'm currently writing, which is about um, a little girl who has an interest in graffiti and um, public art, and she wants to become an artist. Um, but 
graffiti is not uh, always legal. So I want to focus on, um, uh, has anybody been to a street art festival? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I want to focus on a street art festival like um, there's one in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, there's been um, a street art festival in Hawaii. Uh, and actually, uh, I just wanted to focus on um, doing public art and street art legally. Because um, I know, like in, uh, I think it's Sao Paulo, Brazil, they have a law against public advertisements. Um, so instead of public ads, they cover their city in murals, which is what inspired my, one, partly inspired my idea for this book. Um, can't necessarily draw graffiti, but. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Um, hmm. Mm. Well. So yeah, uh, that's the four elements of hip hop. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> So, so yeah, that's what I'm going to focus on in my next book. Uh, well, it's a book I'm currently writing, um, but uh, I'm actually working on three other books for Shaquille O'Neal, which will be out, or I'm supposed to finish those next year, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there is any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Could you show us some pictures from your book? Uh -huh. I'd love to see the pictures. Yeah. Um, I'll show you my favorite pages, I guess. Uh, this is a page of the book. Can you guys see? Um, it's of uh, Cool Herc when he was a kid, kind of dreaming about becoming a DJ and playing music for people. Um, this is probably, this page probably took me the longest to draw, but uh, it's probably my favorite. Mm. This is Cool Herc playing records at a party. Um, demonstrating how he played records back to back to have uh, the break beats loop in his music. Uh, they would often have um, parties and uh, have block parties in parks in uh, New York. Uh, this page took me a long time to illustrate, but it's good. Break dancers, better drawings of break dancers I was referring to. <laughs> Are you a break dancer? No, I wish I was. <laughs> but. I can make, I've made some music, but that's as far as I've gone. Um, this is Cool Herc when he's an adult. Um, yeah, Cool Herc's still around, uh, so he's a pretty important figure. Anyway. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. uh, what influenced my art? Um, I've been influenced by a lot of things. Uh, I was really into Ninja Turtles, Looney Tunes, um, 
when I was a kid. Uh, then as I grew up, I uh, discovered street art. Um, also liked a lot of art from video games. Uh, right, uh, well, right now, I'm very influenced by um, uh, my uh, fellow illustrators, especially people from my school, um, and just a lot of work that I find around. Mm. Uh, I'm a communication arts student at BCU. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, uh, I was just wondering, after you graduated, uh, what were some, like, what opportunities presented themselves to you that enabled you to, like, work in your field? Yeah, I think I was uh, pretty lucky. Um, do you know, well, this is personal, do you know Mr. Foster? <coughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, he told us that uh, he told us that um, one or two of us would become illustrators, and uh, the rest of us would just be graphic designers. So, but uh, I thought that was funny. Um, but I was pretty lucky. Um, I actually became a web designer out of school. Um, but I think I'm still a web designer. Um, that's my full-time job, but uh, I um, was actually pretty lucky. Uh, my art director and my editor found my work on my Flickr account. Um, they actually had the manuscript um, and were looking for an illustrator to do it, so uh, that's how I got into this. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, uh, don't be afraid to share your work online, so it's important. <laughs> yes? Um, you said you already worked with Shaquille O'Neal? Yes. Yes, uh, the books for Shaquille O'Neal, that's um, three children's books, uh, young reader books, I believe. Um, yeah, uh, we're, yeah. <laughs> and um, I guess my second question is, what do you think about celebrities who write children's books? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. Um, uh, Oh, yes, what I think of celebrities that write children's books. Um, uh, I In think, general, yeah. Books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't think of many. You mean children's books specifically? Mm. Yeah, I, I can't think of many other celebrity children's books. But um, if that's what they want to do, I think that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? Yes. Uh, she asked what I, um, what made me choose DJ Cool Herc over the other forefathers of hip hop. Um, uh, I didn't choose it personally. Um, I think Laban Caracol wrote the manuscript first, but uh, I think DJ Cool Herc is generally accepted as the first forefather of hip hop. Um, but there's also, you know, like Grandmaster Flash, Africa Bambata. Um, but uh, other people like that, the like DJ Cool Herc's like the main person. Yes? How did you choose the colors you use in your books? Or as an illustrator, how do you pick which colors you use? Uh, she asked how I pick which, which colors I use. Um, I think I used a lot of reds and greens in this book, uh, but I'm not sure if I had a specific reason for it. I think just because they're complementary colors. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I had a specific reason. Yes? I'm sure the uh, authors did a fair bit of research into the, the life of human biography. Did you do any research for the illustrations? If so, what kind? Uh, he asked if I did any research. Um, I did do a lot of research. Uh, um, mostly on the internet. Um, it was hard to find a lot of reference for Cool Herc as a child, um, or as a teenager, actually, too. But um, I did look up a lot of uh, photos of 1970s Jamaica, um, uh, early disco, oh, not early disco, disco towards the late 70s, uh, block parties, um, 
there's a lot of great books with photographs from the 80s hip hop scene, um, like a, a photo book by Jamal Shabazz, he's a photographer. Um, uh, movies like Wild Style, Style, Style Wars, things like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Mm -hmm. um, she asked about my process for creating art. Um, uh, for this book specifically, uh, like I got, uh, they gave me the manuscript. Um, I did sketches for each uh, section of the book. Um, those would get approved. Uh, then I would, I should have brought them, but I would draw them on large pieces of paper and uh, um, I, for this book, I used pencil to draw the line work, um, and then I would scan it into my computer and um, color it through Photoshop. Uh, but I think now, these days, I usually do most of my work on the computer in Photoshop. So, hmm. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.